Hey guys and welcome to the PlayStation Plus May preview for the PlayStation 4, 3 and PlayStation Vita. Up first we have Murasaki Baby, a game that's exclusive for the PlayStation Vita and makes full use of the intuitive touchscreen and backscreen controls that the PlayStation has to offer. Murasaki Baby is an indie game that makes full use of the controls in this puzzle platforming game. You'll enjoy a vast array of artistic work and some intuitive gameplay as you use the back touchscreen to make full use of abilities and changing environments. Murasaki Baby is the only game this month to be not cross by, so this is only for the PlayStation Vita. Up next, we have Hohokum, a puzzle game that many in the gaming industry say is one of the best games out there currently on the market. Hohokum is unique in the style of its graphics, its flow, and its gameplay. At first, you pick up this game and have no idea what to do with this tadpole creature that you control around the screen. Hohokum is one of those games that you grow to love. Understand the world of Hohokum and what you have to do to get to the next level in this rather quirky kind of game. Hohokum is out on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation 3 consoles, all through Crossbuy. Hohokum is our first Crossbuy title of May 2015, so be sure to download it for all of your PlayStation consoles. Hohokum is a very quirky game where you collect and use a multitude of controlling mechanisms to complete rather bizarre levels. On to the next game, this is Race to the Sun. Race the Sun. Race the Sun is a game that you may have very strong flashbacks to from your iPhone or iOS device. Race the Sun is a stereotypical seen it done it sort of game where you're controlling a ship that uses solar power to power itself through a variety of randomly generated levels. Your goal is to go as far as you can and literally race the sun. Race the sun appears to have a multitude of scoring techniques and power-ups and a multitude of levels and unlocks for your character. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. It looks like a great game for the PlayStation Vita in particular, but it is also cross by. On to the next game. This is the Unfinished Swan. The Unfinished Swan is one of those games that is entirely on its own when it comes to quirky design and really unique gameplay. As you can see, you navigate a plain white world where if you were to just walk through the world, you would have no idea what's going on around you. Your goal is to use your paint technique and abilities to paint the world that you wander around in. Its environment is unique, it's a breath of fresh air and I'm really hoping that this game is as good as all of the hype. The Unfinished Swan is out for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. Up next we have Guacamole Super Turbo Championship Edition, a game that was really well received by me when it was announced for the PlayStation Vita back in 2014. Guacamole is a really fun game and if you haven't tried it already I really recommend going and trying it. This is one of the best games out here for the PlayStation Plus May edition simply because of how fun this game is to play. Guacamole is out now. Ether One is a game that I have hardly heard of, but the graphics look really cool. The trailer makes it look like you navigate a world in which you have some sort of problem or special ability where you're able to manipulate the world that you live in using techniques and 
human characteristics that you don't normally get in the real sort of world. Ether One makes full use of the PlayStation 4's graphical capabilities and makes you just appreciate the world you live in and it looks like a really fun puzzle game that doesn't exactly push the boundaries of brain defining really tough to crack puzzles instead it's all about finding the items po collecting them understanding your abilities and it's a really emotionally attached game so i really recommend downloading this one as well so to review the may edition of playstation plus i give this a four out of ten to be honest i am very disappointed with the large amount of games that are um, indie there's no big standout player here but i do like the fact that it, most of them are cross by so the may edition gets four out of ten leave your comments down below and if you wish to sign up to playstation plus check the link in the description for the cheapest price